I'm going to try and keep this as short as I can because I do have a tendency to waffle and I think it's important that I just get a few points across in this testimonial. Okay, so according to just one definition, to thrive means to grow, develop and to be successful. And I feel as though that's exactly the path I am on since undertaking the Thrive programme. Um, I first got into contact with James, whose details I'll put in the description below, in 2014 when my husband and I decided that we wanted to start a family and me being a metaphobic, quite severely so, as you can imagine it wasn't really compatible with the idea of parenthood. So having undergone a course of CBT or Cognitive Behavioural Therapy as part of an NHS referral, I felt as though I was getting better, but there were things for me that weren't quite clicking. So I did the research and found the Thrive Programme, got the book and then went on to find a consultant because I felt I needed that bit of extra support and I'm very glad that I did. What I did find with it is ways to challenge my belief systems about myself, my phobia, my anxiety, ways to manage my thinking as well, which I think is key for a lot of people. I mean, a phobia is technically an anxiety disorder. I think what makes emetophobia quite unique is it's not experienced the same by any one or two people even. I've spoken to quite a few emetophobia sufferers on my Thrive journey and everyone's way of coping or everyone's way of confirming their belief systems is slightly different from someone else. And what I have learned to do over the course of the last three years is to challenge myself all the time and obviously the biggest challenge for an emetophobic woman was falling pregnant and having a child who is now a very very boisterous two-year-old and yeah I suppose what I'm trying to say is Thrive has retrained my thinking and it has definitely revolutionized my belief systems in regards to anxiety and I say as for the other things like locus of control and self-esteem which are very interesting to read about so I don't want to spoil them as it were but yeah it 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 all does come together and I think as far as self-esteem goes it's going to be a going to continue to be a work in progress for me because it's something that I it goes a lot deeper and further back into my past than emetophobia does I've met some incredible people on this journey and I'd continue to do so and for the, to those people I just say thank you so so much for everything you've given me for continued friendship and support and to James well you know if I've said I couldn't do this without you then you'd probably scold me and say that I could but I feel as though it's your guidance that has helped me retrain how I'm seeing myself and how I'm seeing the future and that's something I can't ever thank you enough for. For anyone that's highly sceptical of anything that I've said then by all means please feel free to get in touch, I'd be more than happy to answer some questions and I was at the point where I thought I was going to be metaphobic for the rest of my life. I thought that I was going to make excuses to not start a family with the man I loved for the rest of my life. I thought that I would not try new foods for the rest of my life. So, and to say something like that in my 20s was quite, you know, it felt quite finite and extreme. And here I am now in my early 30s saying that I've done all of those things, you know, I am trying new things, I, I have a child and, you know, life is pretty good. So, yeah, if I can do it then, yeah, you can do it too.